Well, hi guys. My name is Steve Enns, and the title of my book is uh, Fishing Adventure at Little Douglas Lake. Now, uh, this doesn't start out as a fishing trip, which you'll learn a little bit later. So, um, a friend of mine, Luke, I should say this is a true story as well, and it was about 10 years ago. Um, a friend of mine, Luke, uh, we decided that we were going to go on this fishing trip. Well, camping trip, a hike into Little Douglas Lake. Now, uh, Little Douglas Lake is, are you guys familiar with the Coquihalla? You guys know the highway? Mm -hmm. So it's about an hour up the Coquihalla, um, so you can drive in, and then it's about a half an hour hike. So uh, we left one Friday after work, and um, we packed all of our stuff and anytime we go on a camping trip or a hiking trip we always take if something goes wrong you want extra socks and boots and food and all that good stuff right so we packed <coughs> everything we thought we would need um, we also had um, we had been into the lake before so driving into the before we get to the park where we hike in on the drive um, quite often we'd see like a bear running across the road so yeah, we knew we knew there was bears in the area, and uh, um, but that's okay because we always carry bear spray. You guys know what bear spray is? Yeah. No. Uh, bear spray is in a little can, um, and it looks like a fire extinguisher. And so, when there's a cranky bear that does it want to let you by, you can give him a little shot. Of, it's just pepper spray, so it doesn't hurt the bear. Nothing like that. Um, we also had. Um, I usually carry uh, a gun as well, and I had a, a, a little shotgun that straps to my backpack, as well as we had something called bear bangers, and it's a little pen that shoots a little, like a firework, but it just, there's no lights, it just really <coughs> scares the bear away. So we had this, we had our food, we had first aid stuff, all that good stuff, um, and we hiked into the lake. So we hiked in on a Friday afternoon, so we got at the lake, in the evening, made a fire, set up the tent, all that good stuff, and uh, had dinner. And then the next morning, we got up, and uh, Luke made oatmeal. He loved to make oatmeal. You guys have oatmeal for breakfast? Yeah. Yeah. I, I do. Yeah. I don't like oatmeal. Yeah. No. I'm just eating it. Yeah. <laughs> well, Luke loved it. I'm not a big fan, but he made it, and I ate it. And uh, so we were talking about what we were gonna do. <clears throat> Um, uh, we had the gun with us, so we thought it'd be fun to shoot the gun a few times, so we fired off the gun a few times. Uh, but we saved one bullet for the walkout, just thinking that, oh, in case we bump into a bear, we might want to have it. And <clears throat> so we, uh, we then decided, oh, let's hike around the lake. Now, when you come into the lake, there's the, the campsite is right at the one end. If you picture the lake out here, there's a rock slide that comes down this side and a rock slide that comes down that side of the entire lake. The, the far, the back side of the lake is kind of flat and there's a, kind of the end of the valley is like that. Now, if you guys ever get a chance, I'd say I'd definitely recommend you go because there's, in the springtime, two waterfalls that come into the lake and then there's a creek that goes in and a creek that comes out. So it's really nice, really pretty spot. So we thought, well, let's, hike around the lake. So we left our camp basically set up. We just took a few things in a backpack that we thought we might want on our hike around the lake. So we started hiking around the lake and in the water uh, we saw something like, you guys, can you guess what we saw in the water? Yeah. What did we see in the water? A bear. <coughs> a bear. He ate food. We saw fish. Yeah, he like, ate. We saw hundreds of fish, yeah. like there were little rainbow trout, and they were only like this long, <laughs> and they were in schools, you know, like a school of fish, they swim together, right? So they're going back and forth, and we're like, oh, we don't have any fishing rods. So we, uh, I remembered in the backpack, I had what's called a survival kit, and a survival kit has like band-aids and all kinds of different little things that if you were to get stuck out in the bush, it would help you survive, right? So in there, I had a little roll of fishing line and some fishing hooks called flies. 
So we cut down a couple of willow branches. They're kind of bendy branches, right? And we made little fishing rods. So we're fishing as we go around the lake. And we're making our way. We made our way across the one rock slide, fishing the whole time. And then we went across the back where it was flat, right? And then we got onto the second rock slide. Now, the rock slides, it was kind of like shale, like rocks maybe about this big around, okay? We're making our way. It's kind of hard to walk on, right? And we're making our way around the lake, fishing, talking. We're quite a ways away, maybe the length of your classroom apart, yelling back and forth. And uh, we set the backpack down and everything, and fishing, and we heard something up above the rock in the trees. You could hear like the rocks rubbing together, crunk, 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 crunk. So I thought, oh, that was weird. My friend Luke was further down; he didn't hear it yet. And uh, um, so I stopped fishing. And I stopped fishing. I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird. And we heard it again and again. And then Luke here heard it, right? So he's over here. I'm over here. The backpack is over here. And whatever we can hear is up here. So we're thinking, it's probably Bigfoot. No. <laughs> so, no. And so, well, we had a pretty good idea of, like, this could be a bear. We don't know what it is, right? It's still up in the trees. It's in the bush. And so we're like, okay, well, the gun, the bear spray... The bear bangers, they're all 50 feet away from us over here, and he's up above it. So we quickly head over to the backpack, and we're standing there waiting. And we could hear, hear this thing coming, moving, and then it stopped. And then all of a sudden, right through the trees, out of the bushes, pokes his head. And it was a bear. <clears throat> and so he just, he poked his head out, and he's just checking us out. We're thinking, okay, this is... No big deal. He doesn't seem to be angry or upset or threatening in, in any way. So we're like, okay, this is, I've never tried the bear bangers before. So we're like, let's try these. It's just, it's all like, just like one of your little pens, it launches this little thing up, goes bang. Let's try this out. So just let them know that, hey, we want nothing to do with them, scare them off. So we fired the little bear banger up and it goes off. Hey, no, 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 it just, it just makes a noise. It just goes bang, really loud, yeah. And, but so what happened is, so if you picture the hill, okay, so there's the rock hill. So we're down at the bottom at the edge of the lake. He's up here, okay, and we fired this thing up, and then it went bang. Well, it would have went bang right in front of his face, like right across from him. Do you think he liked that? No. no, he did not like that. He was, I heard all kinds of noises coming out of that bear I had never heard before. It was growling and snorting and huffing and puffing. And uh, it was hard to say if he was uh, a big bear or a little bear. Oh, we just seen his little nose and head face poke out. Yeah. He went back into the trees, okay? Yeah, baby. No, it, and he's making all these angry noises at us. We're like, okay, that's our cue to leave, right? So we, we ditched our fishing rods, grabbed the backpack, bear spray and the gun, and we start making our way over the rocks. But Climb like the I, rocks? Over the rocks, yeah. And it was, uh, Bigger? it was hard to walk on the rocks, right? Because they're shale and, and so we're making our way around the lake. And what's the bear doing? He's following us <laughs> in the up in the trees where the, the bush is, just above the rock, he's following us and we can hear him. And we'd stop, he would stop, just huffing and puffing and growling and making all these noises and we're like, oh great. So we just kept going. We stopped about three or four times as we're making way across this shale and he just kept coming and coming and coming. So we got, our goal was just to get off of this rock, get off of this shale, right? And uh, there was a flatter grassy area. We're going to figure out what's going on then. And he's following us along. We make it off of the rock and we're onto this flatter area. He's still up, uh, up on the hillside and the, the, the trees and the brush that are up above, it kind of came down on an angle a bit. And so he's still up in there 
And I said to my buddy Luke, I said, he's got the bear spray ready to go. And I'm holding the gun, which has one bullet in it. And I said to Luke, I said, if he charges us, I said, we'll use the bear spray. And I said, I'm not going to shoot until the very last second, right? Till, and so we're waiting there, seeing what's going to happen. No sooner had I said that, the bear starts charging down at us. So he's coming down through the trees, through the bushes, and we still can't see him yet. We, the only time we saw him was his little face when he poked it out, right? And uh, now, I don't know if you guys have seen Jurassic Park with the dinosaurs <laughs> yeah. running through the trees. No. No? no. Because this is what it, this is, that's the only thing I thought of. As he's running down, all the trees were just doing this. We couldn't see the bear yet, how big he was. But the trees that were as tall as your, your ceiling here are taller. We're just doing this as he's coming towards us. That was a little nerve wracking. Um, as soon as he pops out, before he popped out, right before he broke through the bush, he stops. And we're like, okay, what's going on? And then he starts walking up and around. And as soon as he walked out of the bush, um, now I've hunted for a lot of years. I spent a lot of time in the bush and this bear is still to this day, the biggest bear I had ever seen. And I remember when he walked out onto the, onto the, he's walking across the rock side. He was the blackest, shiniest bear I had ever seen and big. Like he was as long as I can reach nose to tail. And he just started walking out. He wasn't growling and huffing and puffing anymore. And he was just making his way around. So we figured he's, we were just in his way and he's trying to get by. So we're still nervous, not sure what he's doing. Is he trying to come around? So we just started heading back to, back to camp. The bear walked into the bush. We never saw him again, but as soon as we got to camp, we stuffed everything in our backpack, got everything, and we just started booking her out to the truck because that was uh, enough fun for one day for us. So, yeah, and we never saw him again. But uh, yeah, so that was that was our adventure. Excellent. Thank you so much.